destroy the children and we can do that in the right direction. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? Of course. You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnai ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. It's like the ship on LV-426. A thousand-year-old egg Maybe a reference to Alien. Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Ragnai. Mass produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Ragnai. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Obviously. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry. But this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. With the neutron purge. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation. Kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> Mother always say I would meet a bad end. Oh, and you will. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. Are there any survivors in here? Lady she Benezia, said, an executive secretary of Binary Helix, is on the operations deck. There are no other living crew members within the lab structure. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. I need information on the neutron purge. The Neutron Purge is a fail-safe system installed within the isolation tube area. In the event of irretrievable containment loss, it is used to resolve the situation. What exactly does this thing do? The Purge is a neutron burst weapon. Two volumes of fissionable materials are brought together to form a critical mass. Most of the energy is released in the form of high-speed neutrons. This radiation is instantly lethal to any known form of life within 500 meters. We would be wise to avoid touching any controls without reading the instructions. That is advisable for all systems within this facility. Activate the neutron purge. 
I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. All right, let's We're go moving back to on. the guy. Logging you out, Commander. And now we're gonna witness the guy die by Rekhnai Canticles. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Mira destruct. <laughs> the neutron purge I'm sorry but I can't do that without proper code authorization code input 8750200079 code omega local execution verified code omega execution in 120 seconds <sighs> Singularity there. Your singularity. All clear. Now we are going back to Normandy to report to the council and talk with the crew. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? Relax, actually. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yes. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? 
They will not. They promise. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. That was surprisingly fast. Are we at 80% already? I don't know. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was, she was your, your mother. mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Two become one. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. It sounds amazing. Are you saying... No! Oh, no! Uh, I am not very you good at this, am saying... I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... Reserved. The union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and... I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's... let's talk about something else. Goodbye. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Now, Kaden, your opinion on the last mission. Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? 
Off the record, if we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. I mean, there are reports to file on the Rachni and on Analeus. They can't wait. The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? It sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Same here. Before I met Vernus, I knew as much as any other civilian. Aliens were weird, superior, and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. But it was Vernus who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted a drink without getting a nosebleed, you know? And like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was gonna do, just something. And Vernus lost it. Beat the crap out of me. He kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talon, right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Well, you tried to help a girl, that's true. You wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. So, yeah, maybe I hated that Tyrion. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Hmm. A reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Garrus. Commander, I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salion, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what uh, he did to me. you're learning. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. All right, Ashley. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It was yours. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. I already did. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? Sure, if you have time. Figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. 
You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and the list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops. But when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. It was a better choice. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? Why isn't that an option? Yes. You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Alenka. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Dismissed, Chief. Sir. Rex gave me experience too. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Tell me about that. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time? If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. And huh. I guess you did. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. That's a tough old friend. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. 
What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days, I chased her through that station. Used my entire store of ammunition. I had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. Sounds but like the fun. third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone. Life support was failing. But I had her. She locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I escaped? assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. Plot twist. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural cause. At least you got paid until then. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. Ah, oh, double your mood. Rex, the others gave me. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? Near the end, we have two major I missions and the DLC. Won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. Oh, you will. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go. See you later. Maybe Tali will be the one option in Mass Effect 2. Maybe. Let's start the Joker and go for the... Bring down the Sky DLC. Unless heck it will send a message to do some assignments. Why am I glad to be off of Novaria? I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I have to go. Alright, see ya. It's not like you have new things to say to me.
from others. So strange. And again I'm gonna uh, cut the part. 